This matrix can be solved by using the logic of our columns. In each element is a square shape that's made up of four rectangles and one square in the center, um, all of which that have different patterns. But we can see that there is always two of a kind when it comes to the rectangles. So there's two white ones on the side of the first element, then the center becomes white, and then the top and the bottom become white. Let's see if that pattern continues in column two. We have vertical stripes on the sides, then we have vertical stripes in the middle, and then we have vertical stripes on the top and bottom. So this seems to be a pattern. So if we look at our third column and we see that we have plaid on the sides, after it goes to the middle, it should go to the top and bottom. So that would allow us to eliminate answer choices B, D, and F for not having plaid patterns on the top and bottom of the shape. If we go back to column one and we take a look at the top and bottom being the vertical stripes, we see that that moves to the sides of the element and then to the center of the element in uh, row three. Same thing here, we've got this checkered pattern on the top and bottom that moves to the sides and then to the center. So in element three, we should have white on the top and bottom, and then it should be in the center of the shape. And that tells us that our answer choice, our correct answer is E. But for the sake of the video, I will show you the last pattern, which is the center starts with horizontal lines, then goes to the top and bottom, then to the sides. So if we skip to column three, whatever pattern we start with in the middle, which was checkers, then would go to the top and bottom, and then would go to the sides, which again, E is the only one that matches that pattern, so it has to be our correct answer choice.